turns out that to denigrate the Taliban at a scientific meeting is to court controversy. Mm -hmm. And after my remarks, I, I fell into debate with another uh, invited speaker. And this is more or less exactly how our conversation went. She said, how could you ever say that forcing women to wear burqas is wrong from the point of view of science? I said, well, because I think it's pretty clear that right and wrong relate to human well-being. And it's just as clear that forcing half the population to live in cloth bags and beating them or killing them when they try to get out is not a way of maximizing human well-being. And she said, well, that's just your opinion. And I said, OK, well, let's make it even easier. Let's say we found a culture that was literally removing the eyeballs of every third child okay, at birth. Would you then agree that we had found a culture that was not perfectly maximizing human well-being? And she said, it would depend on why they were doing it. <laughs> so after my eyebrows returned from the back of my head, uh, I said, OK, well, let's say they're doing it for religious reasons. Let's say they have a scripture which says every third should walk in darkness or some such nonsense. Okay. And then she said, well, then you could never say that they were wrong. You should know, I was talking to someone who has a deep background in science and philosophy, and she had just delivered a perfectly lucid lecture on the moral implications of, of neuroscience for the courts, and she was especially concerned that we could be subjecting captured terrorists to lie detection neuroimaging technology. Uh, and she viewed this as, as really an unconscionable violation of cognitive liberty. So on the one hand, her moral scruples were very finely calibrated to, to recoil from the slightest perceived misstep in ethical terms in our war on terror. And yet she was quite willing to forgive some primitive culture its fondness for removing the eyeballs of children in its religious rit rituals. And she seemed to me quite terrifyingly detached from the very real suffering of, of millions of women in Afghanistan at this moment. So I, I see this double standard as a problem. And strangely, this is precisely the erosion of basic common sense that many religious people are worried about. I hope it'll be clear to you at the end of this hour that religion is not an answer to this problem.